A big question that we get from buyers that we're working with, um, generally speaking, after they agree to buy a boat is, what flag should I fly? Um, you can flag a Panama, Cayman, U.S., Langawi. Um, I'll tell you, here at the Multi-Oil Company, I swear we've probably done over 100 different flags. And then for myself as a yacht broker, and for all of us here as yacht brokers, we find that advising people on flag is difficult because we have to know several things. Where is the boat located when you're closing the boat and what flag is it flying at the time? Because that might impact duty or taxation. That's an important thing that we have to know. Secondly, we have to know what passports and nationalities do you have when you're traveling because those passports could impact um, where you can go with certain kinds of flags. For example, if you are an individual from the European Union and you bought a boat and you wanted to fly a European flag and you purchased a boat in Florida, the first time you land back in the European Union, you're going to be uh, tagged to pay that VAT tax. Um, so we need to know where the boat is, what are the nationalities of the people who are buying the boat, the passports they carry? What is the cruising agenda of the boat? Where is the boat going to be going? Uh, are there certain flags that offer either uh, tax advantages or the ability to uh, not pay a duty? Uh, and there's many, many legal ways in which to fly the boat properly and voyage on the boat and such that these costs can be reduced if you're careful and thoughtful about the type of flag that you fly. Uh, so once again, there's no one ideal flag. There are ideal flags or better flags for people depending upon the boat they're buying, the flag that is in at the time, the passports that they carry, and the cruising agenda that the boat intends to follow. And to some extent, I suppose, the resale of the boat uh, when if you are planning to bring